Previous President Jimmy Carter dropped a progression of truth bombs amid a meeting with the New York Times, bringing up that Russia did not take the decision, Hillary was not an applicant worth voting in favor of, and Obama was a disappointment. Jimmy Carter's reality bombs left the Liberal Times exasperated and considering how they could turn the meeting to suit their phony news story. Here are some significant features from the meeting. 1. The Russians didn't take the 2016 decision. Carter was asked did the Russians purloin the decision from Hillary? I don't believe any confirmation what the Russians did sufficiently changed votes, or any votes, Carter said. So the hard left previous president doesn't think the Russians stole the decision? Observe, Capitol Hill Democrats. 2. The Carters didn't vote in favor of Hillary. Carter and his significant other, Rosalind, differ on the Russia question. In the meeting, she investigated archly, and said, they clearly purloined the decision. Rosie and I have a distinction of assessment on that, Carter said. Rosalind at that point stated, the dribble trickle about Hillary. Which provoked Carter to take note of that amid the essential, they didn't vote in favor of Hillary Clinton. We voted in favor of Sanders. 3. Obama missed the mark regarding his guarantees. Barack Obama whooshed into office on vows of conveying expectation and change to the nation, spilt by divided legislative issues. He didn't. Truth be told, he exacerbated it. He put forth some extremely awesome expressions, as I would like to think, when he initially got in office, and afterward he reneged on that, he said in regards to Obama's activity on the Middle East. 4. Media harder on Trump than any president. A current Harvard examine demonstrated that 93% of news scope about President Trump is negative. Be that as it may, here's another stunner, Carter shielded Trump. I think the media have been harder on Trump than some other president unquestionably that I've thought about, Carter said. I think they don't hesitate to assert that Trump is rationally disturbed and everything else decisively. 5. NFL players should remain amid the American song of praise. Carter, who joined the other four living ex-presidents on Saturday for a Sea Tempest pledge drive, put his hand on his heart when the national song of praise played and he has a solid supposition about what NFL players ought to do, as well. I think they should locate an alternate approach to question, to illustrate, he said. I would rather observe every one of the players remain amid the American song of devotion. Not precisely the account the Times was painting, 